Time to head to Cars and Coffee. This month's Cars and Coffee here in Greenville is going to be a Japanese theme. Now on their Facebook page, they have Toyota listed, they have Mazda listed, and they have Subaru listed. And they say, bring out your Supras and your STIs and your RX-7s. But they don't have Nissan, Mitsubishi, or Honda on there. So I'm not sure if they're not including those in the actual showcase section or if they're gonna wait until you know maybe next month they'll do Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi Honda and Nissan but either way we're gonna be taking all the right-hand drive JDM cars out to Cars and Coffee once again let's go I have the Delica warming up man this is one thing I love about the Delica it's so cool the Delica lights up in the back such a cool random little feature that must be so strange like pulling up behind this thing going down the road not knowing what the heck it is and just seeing Delica lit up at night. So freaking awesome. I'm gonna get the GTO going and the 180 as well. Let's go ahead and have a moment of silence for the neighbors that are still sleeping. Okay, here we go. <laughs> there was a silencer in the exhaust. Now there's not. My dad is gonna be driving the Delica and my good friend Kyle Ball's gonna be driving the GTO. Today, I'm taking the 180 that's already nice and warm that's been in the garage. <laughs> Sounds like freaking Vietnam out here with a bunch of Hueys flying over. I'm sure the neighbors love this at 6.50 in the morning. But the cars will be nice and warm for us heading out to Cars and Coffee here in just a couple minutes. Squad goals, boys. We are all ready to go, gassed up, got our snacks, and we are gonna head out of here and head to Cars and Coffee and roll in deep. Now, if you guys remember or if you watch the video of when I got the Delica stuck we went to Easley Cars and Coffee just before that and there was only a few cars out there it was Alan and his MR2 and then this is Chris right here and that's his supercharged Miata he was there as well but today there should be a lot more people it's Greenville Cars and Coffee and it's special uh, Japanese month or whatever so we'll see what do we have here boys a little racing action I just lined up with the MR2 a little bit he got me pretty good Cut that neck. They look nice together. The MR2 looks good going down the road. Uh, Alan's doing photography things, taking pictures in his mirrors. Welcome to another Cars and Coffee here in Greenville, South Carolina. Today I'm going to try to get around and show you guys a few more cars, maybe check out some exhaust notes on some of them, and actually get some coverage on the event. We have the right hand drive boys out here, the 180, the GTO, and the Deli. Hey, Cobball and Cobball's wife. Lots and lots of different cars. It is, they do have the uh, Japanese showcase, like I said, and they did reject me and the Nissan, but they said that the Mitsubishis could be let in, but I wasn't gonna break up the pack. Kind of strange how they're doing the showcase this month, actually, because they are letting Toyota, Mazda, and Subaru, and apparently Mitsubishi, they didn't say that though, but they're turning away Lexus and letting in Toyotas. I thought that was really strange. There was a SC300 that went by that still had the Lexus badges on it and they were like, nope, can't park here. Very, very strange how they're doing it. I guess they'll probably do a whole Nissan month, maybe like a Nissan Honda month since those are probably the most popular. But I'm gonna hang out around the cars for a little bit and uh, Jesse should be here soon in his RX-7, which is super nice. And then we'll take a walk around. The old seven, there she is. Beautiful. See it? It's got the Grand Theft Auto tires. Honda Beat. Love seeing some right hand drive JDM cars. Honda Beats are still pretty cheap. Very awesome though. This is the showcase area over here. They rope off and have a certain theme each month right up here against the building. It's kind of like the premier parking area, I guess. And this month, like I said, is Mazda, Toyota, and Subaru. And I guess they're also letting some Mitsubishis in. There's definitely gonna be lots and lots of Miatas out here. Have the MR2 boys. One of them's Alan's our buddy, and the other one is one of his friends. Both right hand drive. Got the right hand drive MD RX7. That'll probably be one of the more nicer and unique things. And the Miata boys. Miatas I knew would be out and strong on Mazda theme. So we're over here in the showcase still. And what's going on? So they're gonna let the NSX in, but they can't let a nice little 180 in. 
A little confused here, Cars and Coffee. What are you doing? Is that a Supra? Got some Supras, another RX-7. This one is around a thousand horsepower right here. These works? Yeah. Very nice build. He's got a couple cool 2J builds going on. And I think this RX-7 might be the one with the V8 in it. I want to say this one has a LS1 in it. But I could be wrong. I can't remember if this is the one or not. That thick booty. Supra's definitely going to steal the show here in the showcase and the other Supra over there. Both of these Supras are the left-hand drive USDM version, which goes for way more money than the right-hand drive versions. A factory twin-turbo six-speed Supra with the 2J Z GTE, probably maybe 50, 60 grand for a nice left-hand drive model, whereas you can get the right-hand drive model still for around 30, 35K. The RX-7 right-hand drive. Getting a lot of attention, that's another really clean one. This and the Supras, definitely still in the showcase. There's my buddy's Aristo, the 2JZ GTE, same motor as the Supra. Some Celica action. All right, I have a question for you guys. Sometimes people get on to me for saying Celica. I've had many people comment and say, that's not how you pronounce it, you pronounce it Celica. Now, how do you pronounce the van that I have then? If you're calling this a Celica, are you going to call the van a Delica? Because that's definitely not a Delica. Comment below on your thoughts on that. That's a cool old Corolla. 60 horsepower, they're, they're, okay. they're not much at all. This is just, just smaller. I like the older stuff, even if it's not super sporty. Now, Kyle has just informed me that this MR2 is not just a regular MR2, that it is K swapped. Wow. That is very cool. Very unique. I don't know if that's a common thing to do with these, but that's the first one I've seen. That is pretty awesome. Here we have one and a half Miatas. That's pretty awesome. I'd pay five. Five bucks? <laughs> okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. R35 GTR crew. I didn't touch it though. I was just letting it It's like the future richer us. It's like the neon. SRT. Woo. Mopar. Mopar, no car. That's pretty cool. Pretty unique Jeep here. The Jacides. It's got a turbo diesel Mercedes engine in it. Would you look at that? A32 GDR in the wild, as far as the eye can see. I met this guy, I believe it's the same one that was at an Easley car show a few months back. Pretty clean. I was gonna throw the drone up and get some drone shots, but I did not realize how close this is to the approach to Greenville Spartanburg International Airport. So I'm gonna go ahead and not do that so I don't get charged with some kind of federal crime. This thing's freaking sweet. Cabal, I want this. Go for it. That thing's sweet. Probably gets... Yeah, two feet to the gallon, exactly. Terrible gas mileage. Hey, delivering your quality oriental house food. Bringing the coronavirus to a house near you. Hyundai actually making a car that looks like something that is nice. The Stinger. Old Scat Pack. 911 Turbo S. Old carbon fiber wheels. Now here's something that I've recently been interested in is Fox Body Mustangs. I've been on Facebook Marketplace lately looking at Fox Bodies and they have gotten pretty expensive. You can't find a nice looking Fox Body for under around 10,000 it seems like nowadays. I've been on Marketplace sending messages to a few different Fox Bodies seeing if they wanted to trade for the Neon. I think it'd be fun to hoon around in a Fox Body. Lots of diversity here at Cars and Coffee. You can find anything from 
newer muscle cars, older muscle cars, older collector's cars, JDM imports, wannabe JDM guys, ricers, everything. Now here's an interesting car over here. I got to meet the owner. He's a subscriber of the channel, man. Thanks for coming out and showing off your car and meeting me. Now this is a Honda Accord Euro R. It's right-hand drive. It's from Japan. It's obviously not, you know, of actual age to be here, so I'm not really sure how he got it over here, but either way, nonetheless, it's cool, different, and not something you see every day. In Okinawa, there was quite a few of these. A lot of military guys would drive around with these, and uh, they're still relatively cheap and easy to come by, but outside of being near a military base, you really didn't see very many of them at all. So it's definitely unique to be here in Greenville, South Carolina, seeing a Honda Accord Euro R. Very, very different. Very cool. Well, japandirectmotors.com. We sell JDM. Might be the people right there. It's got the Recaro seats, factory Recaro seats. Very, very interesting. Very different, very cool. Nice car, man. Came back over here to take a nice cover photo, hopefully. Just some nice boote shots right there. The yellow and the red, such a nice contrast together. Thick boys. Now we saw this Willys Jeep cruising by earlier. I think I got it on video, but just take a look at this thing. That thing's insane. Absolutely crazy. That would be something super fun to have and drive around. Wouldn't be getting stuck like I did in the Delica and that thing. Lots of action down here in the bottom of the parking lot. Like, looks like maybe either a lot of people are leaving or a lot of people are coming in. I think there's actually a second car show today at one of the detailing shops or something. So that's probably a lot of people are gonna be heading out early for that. Hey, another Skyline. We saw that one last time as well. So I guess there's actually two right-hand drive black RX-7s here today. Cause this is not the same one that we saw up in the showcase area. Type R. You know, I didn't make a video the other day, but me and Jesse went up to Honda and looked at one of the Type R's they had. Cause the Type R's are also really growing on me. I just can't justify trying to spend 35 grand on one right now. But they are coming out with a new one for 2020 that's boost blue and the vents are actually functional. Cause apparently some of these vents on the first year Type R's aren't functional. But the boost blue 2020 thing looks mean. Another, Jesus, Cadillac. Another R32 GTR here. This one I've seen on Facebook Marketplace, I think. I believe this one's for sale, if I do remember correctly. I think it was like a $27,000-ish R32. It's been repainted, obviously. It's got that championship blue paint. RB26. BNR32 doesn't look too bad to see what kh2 so it was originally i think that's gunmetal gray now we did see these guys earlier we saw the s13 and the 180. we saw this one at the last cars and coffee very clean cars take care man take nice, care. To nice to meet you see you later four-door gtst haven't seen one of those out here today Pretty cool. I'm gonna need a video of that. Nice. That is pretty cool looking. What is that? What'd you say that was? It's a Mercury Cougar. Oh, okay. 67 or 68. You bring the key out to sell it? <laughs> Start yelling at everybody to rev up. Oh, we'll get kicked out by the cars and coffee police. Whoa, stance, yeah, bro. Let's hear. Her. Things go 
wall. Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Switches. Jesse just pointed out this bone stock looking S14. Doesn't look like there's anything done to it. It's pretty funny. Don't see many of those. Oh yeah, fox body. God dang, I didn't know we had Japanese muscle here. I think the vape store just opened up. here needs to save some of the downforce for the rest of us. Stealing all the downforce. We spotted a car from across the way. We're gonna go down here and try to see what it is. There's that white 240 we saw earlier. Turns out it is an R32. We couldn't tell from really far away what it was and I saw the spoiler. Kind of thought maybe R34-ish but it's definitely the, the little gurney flap carbon fiber thing like I had on mine. Interesting color though. Looks nice. It's not like the championship blue one we saw a little while ago. I guess it's kind of like a, almost like a Bayside blue type color. Definitely repainted, whatever it is. Remember what I was telling you guys about Fox Body Mustangs and how the prices are going up like crazy. 14,900 for this one. It is super clean. It looks really nice. It's just crazy how much Fox Body Mustangs have gone up in value over the few years. Cars and coffee. This is the funny part now. There's all these kids down here. They're not kids. Some of them are older, but they're all down here with the videos yelling for people to do crazy stuff. God dang. That thing is pretty. Very, very pretty. Seriously, I every time I'm around Jesse, I say this like, you guys didn't, most of you didn't check out his RX-7 video. I will leave the link in the description. Go check it out. That thing is freaking, freaking beautiful. <laughs> there she is. Typical RX-7 things. Yep. And now it's totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the house. Cars and Coffee is all wrapped up. Freaking awesome event. I love Cars and Coffee here in Greenville, South Carolina. So many diverse group of cars, so many different people, so many good people to see, so many old people. Not old people, but like old friends that I haven't seen in a long time. But there's old people there too if you're into that. As usual, the right-hand drive cars definitely are the attention grabbers. A lot of people all gather around them. A lot of people asking questions. It was good to see some of you guys, some of you subscribers. A lot of people came out and be like, hey, I like your channel. I subscribe to your channel. Thank you guys very much for subscribing to the channel and watching and coming up to me. I do enjoy getting to meet people that watch the channel. To you two gentlemen that came from Atlanta, thank you guys for coming all the way up and hopefully I'll be able to make it down for Caffeine and Octane next weekend. Here's what we have going on right now. We're in the garage doing a nice, easy, simple little oil change on the 180. It's so awesome because, you know, I had the GTR and the oil filters and a pain in the butt spot. It's kind of in the same spot. The oil filter's right here. Uh, it's kind of hard to see it. It's under there now. So I had to replace the oil filter, obviously, because I'm doing an oil change. Here is the oil filter that was on it. Ah, oh, man, I just spilled oil in the garage. Dumb me. It's got Japanese writing all over it. It's Japanese, obviously, oil filter since the car just came from Japan. And this motor wasn't really offered in 
the 240s over here, so coming by oil filters, it's a little bit challenging. It's not impossible, but what I did was I got an oil filter for a 94 Sintra uh, SER. Those came with an SR20 in them, and from what I was reading on some forums and some other stuff, you can use those oil filters, no problem. It's just a little bit smaller. It's not quite as long as the one that was in there, but that should be okay. Yep, here we are, outside. Dogs are coming over here and barking, like usual. But this is so much more simple than doing it on the GTR was, and I bought like GTR amounts of oil. That's a five quart jug. I was saying, oh, the GTR is like, you know, like five and a half quarts, something like that, give or take a few. But this only takes like four quarts, so I could have just stuck with the one big, big jug and not have to got that extra one over there. But it is what it is, and I'll have some extra. But I'm doing this because, well, the oil was changed really not that many kilometers ago at all. The oil didn't look too bad coming out. You can see it's, I mean, from right there, the stuff that was in the filter, if it'll focus, it's not really all that dark. But I think the last oil change was done at 48,226 kilometers, which is only, you know, like 500 kilometers ago, so like 300 miles ago. But the last date on it is year 27, which is 2015. So the thing's barely been driven in the last, you know, few years. Very low kilometer car, very clean under here. Mostly clean, it's still a little bit dusty, but. Now I'm gonna throw the 10W30 full synthetic oil in there, Mobile One, and have her good to go. Because tomorrow, most likely, we are gonna be heading to the mountains with Alan, his MR2, and a few other people. Most likely that's what'll be happening, and I'm gonna take the 180. My face looks almost red and sunburnt. Did I get sunburnt today? That's weird. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoy Cars and Coffee, and the 180's ready completely done with the oil change. And tomorrow, early morning, not quite as early as this morning, we're gonna be heading out for a mountain drive with a big group of people. So I need to go find my GoPro and get it all charged up and everything. So, mountain video coming next. I'll see you guys in that video. As always, thanks for watching. <laughs>